Hello students, once again welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start the next taxonomic categories in detail. In the previous lecture we have discussed taxonomic hierarchy that is ascending and descending element of the taxonomic categories we have discussed in the previous lecture. So in detail we are going to discuss about the taxonomic categories with, uh, with respect to example also. So let us learn first taxonomic category which is the lowest taxon in the classification that is species. As you know, what is species? Species can be defined as, as I written the definition here, species is a group of, species is a group of organism with fundamental similarities. So, to make this definition more easier way, let me define it once again in other words. What is species? Species means group of organisms which can interbreed among themselves and they can produce a fertile offspring that is called as species. Or in other words, it is a, a species, a group of organisms with fundamental similarities. The basic characters are almost similar, that is called as species. And they can interbreed among themselves and produce fertile offspring. So, this is the definition of a species. So, let us understand some of the examples. Along with example, we will discuss the species. Okay. The first example is Mangifera indica, Solanum tuberosum. Panthera leo, Panthera paradis. So these are the different examples. So among these examples, let us first consider Mangifera, Solanum, Panthera. What they are indicating? They are genus. They are the genera. And similarly, Indica, Tuberosum and Panthera tigris, Panthera paradis. So Tuberovus, Indica, these are what? They are specific epithet. Means they are species. So, by this example, it is very clear to you. Species, they can interbreed among themselves and produce a fertile offspring. Okay. So, sometimes a single genus may include single species or sometimes a single genus may include more than one species. So, the best example to understand a genus, a single genus may contain more than one species. For example, Solanum. Solanum is one genus. Under this genus, three species are there. Tuberosum, Solanum tuberosum, Solanum melangina, Solanum nigra. So, more than one species can be included under Solanum only. Single genus, many species. And sometimes single genus may include single species also. So, this is a clear example of a species. Then, coming to the next level of taxonomy category, that is genus. What is genus then? Genus is the next level of taxon. It's the next level of category in the classification. Okay. Genus can be defined as. So what is genus? Genus is a group of species. Means number of species aggregate together to form a genera. Okay. So with so for example, one genus can be differentiated from other genus. So one here group of related species. Group of related species, basic character are, characters are almost similar. So, aggregation of species give rise to related species give rise to what? Genus. So, let us understand some of the examples under this category. Solanum tuberosum, Solanum melangina, Solanum nigrum. So, these are the different species. But here, the species are almost they are similar with each other because of their morphological feature. There are some morphological differences. There are some morphological similarities. So, based on that, we, we include the species under the particular genera. So, Solanum tuberosum, Solanum melangina, Solanum nigrum. So, here Solanum tuberosum, melangina, nigrum, they belong to the single genus that is Solanum. How it is formed? It is formed with a group of related species. How they are related with each other? On what basis they are related? They are related based on their morphological features. Some morphological features are same. Hence, some morphological face, uh, different, uh, different differences are also there. Hence, based on that, they are included under genus. So, now it is very clear to you. Genus, how it is formed? It is formed by the aggregation of related species. So, genus is the next level of classification. It comes after the species. Similarly, this is the example of plant. There are some Animal examples also. To understand more about the examples under that is under genus, the examples 
uh, for animal category genus panthera so panthera is one genus as i told you sometimes a single genus will include more than one species okay so if for example panthera leo panthera tigris panthera pedis some morphological similarities are also there see lion tiger leopard they have having some morphological similarities so because of that morphological similarities we include all these examples under the genus panthera panthera is a single genus where lion tiger leopard are having some morphological similarities can you make a can you recall liver memory so what are the morphological features which are these they are having they are they, they are having uh, they are having uh, like uh, claws are there okay claws are there they are carnivorous some face characters they are having fur strips on their body so these are the some common characters found in these animals hence these three are coming under the same genus panthera okay so genus is a group of related species with morphological features some of the morphological similarities are there hence these three are included under category called panthera genus panthera similarly there is one more example felis felis is one genus panthera is another genus so this is one genus one genus having not they are not having the same character but some characters are similar some characters are going to differ so cats so if we can't include cats under panthera because there are some morphological differences are also there under cats so hence we are putting the cats under felis the genus felis thus felis and panthera are two different genera two different genera so we call it as cat genus cat that is felis panthera way we include panthera leo panthera pardus panthera tigris okay so we will proceed towards the another example another category another level of higher taxon so you know the third higher taxon in the classification is family after species genus genus group of genus give rise to family so how the family is going to form family is formed by the group of related genera group of related genera with less number of similarities see students as we go from lower taxon to higher taxon the more number of characters are going to decrease they are going to decrease okay but here group of related genera with still less number of still less number here more number of characters are similar here less number of characters are similar okay as we go from in a lower taxon to higher taxon the similar similar characters are going to decrease okay so family is formed by the group of related genera or the group of related genera aggregation of genera they give rise to what the next category called as family so we will now understand some of the examples under families okay there is one more question arises on what criteria they are belonging to family so we are putting them under family let us understand here genus in for example the plant example the genus the the genera uh, that is solanum petunia datura see there are three genera solanum petunia datura three different genera okay what are the similarities and dissimilarities among these three genera so first solanum petunia datura they are having some vegetative characters and reproductive characters are almost same so because of the vegetative and uh, reproductive characters uh, we are putting them under the same family called as solanaceae solanaceae is a family where three different genera solanum tuberosum solanum melangena they are the solanum petunia datura these three are having some morphological vegetative character as well as reproductive characters are similar and we are putting them under family solanaceae so this is with respect to plant example with respect to animal with respect to animal example here genus panthera so there are two different genera genus panthera where felis is also another example of genera so this genus include all cats and this genus panthera includes panthera leo panthera paradise panthera 
tigris these they are different different examples coming under panthera but group of related genera give rise to family okay this family called as phalidae okay how the family phalidae is formed the phalidae is formed by the aggregation of genera the gena gena genera this is panthera is one genus phalis is another genus these two genera are what is the common among these two are the common features as already you know that panthera phali cat and cat family a uh, cat a uh, genus panthera means uh, leo tigris phalidae they are having some morphological similarities because of these character we are putting under family phalidae okay so phalidae is a family how it is formed by it is formed by the aggregation of genera genera phalis genera genera that is panthera so by aggregation of these two genera what is going to form that is phalidae okay there is one more example similarly cat family dog family there is family canidae is also there the group of related genera i told you winning only group of related genera means this is one genera this is another genera cat panthera dog they belongs to another category so dog is not going to include under the genus this a uh, phalidae we can't put the dog enter under phalidae why because there are some similar characters there are some characters are similar some characters are different so some characters are different from this phalidae so we are putting the dog under another family called canidae so we can't put the family uh, the dog under this phalidae phalidae is different canidae is different two different families are there okay two different families so two different family however they are having some common features but what is the most common feature among phalidae and canidae the most common features uh, character among these two phalidae and canidae are they are carnivorous they are flesh eater okay that is a common feature that we should discuss under the next category level of the category the taxon of taxon under the uh, classification but right now panthera phalis they belongs to the family phalidae similarly dog is putting under the separate the category family called canidae so phalidae canidae do these two are the different families and they are formed by the aggregation of group of related genera then with this example we will stop here only next category next level of a category or taxon we are going to discuss that is order how the order is formed that we shall discuss in the next exam next video